Hey all, welcome back to the Happy Culture. In this video, we wanted to share about the process of building a garden raised bed. To see how we use these raised beds in our garden, do check out our video on how to design a backyard vegetable garden. Building raised beds was definitely a significant part of the work we had put in to build our vegetable garden and to be honest, more than 50% of the money we spent on the overall project. Right from deciding what kind of wood to pick, what design to use, we spent a lot of time researching this because wood is costly and you want to optimize how much of it you use. So in general, there are three kinds of wood available. One is the soft wood, which is like pine, duckless fir, etc., which are relatively inexpensive, readily available, but it's not the best wood to withstand outdoor conditions or water logging. So if you use it for a garden, they'll do okay, but most likely in three or four years, you'll need to replace them. The second option is a pressure treated wood, which is nothing but soft wood treated with chemicals to make it more durable. And chemicals are definitely not recommended to grow anything edible. And the final option we have is a hardwood, which is like a more denser wood, um, like things like cedar, a redwood, a black locust, etc., which are naturally well suited for outdoor elements. And of course, it's more expensive too. We didn't want to pick wood directly from a hardware store as the hardwood there is generally very expensive and it's also very well finished for what we were looking for. We were okay with something which had imperfections or like a second grade wood and hence we were directly researching wood dealers. In the Midwest area, black locust is a more commonly available type of wood uh, than say a redwood or a cedar. Hence we were looking for black locust options primarily. We got our wood from a company called Midwest Black Locust, which is based out of Wisconsin. We were really happy with the quality of the wood and the service provided by them. Luckily, we had access to a truck and hence we could just pick it up ourselves. We wanted our beds to be a foot high so it can uh, store sufficient soil for growing big plants like tomatoes, okra, which have like deep roots and also enough depth for growing root crops like potatoes or sweet potatoes. In general, we found that getting a one foot wide wood was much expensive than getting a pair of six inch wide planks. So we just stacked two of the six inch wood to construct all of these one foot high raised beds. Our boards are also one and a quarter inches thick, which is actually a decent thickness. And this is going to stay solid for at least another 10 to 15 years. So for the tools we need, uh, we had a circular saw with us which we use for this project. You need a drill and a bit, some deck screws, hammer, hardware mesh and some nails. You can find the link of all these products in the description box below. If you're going to work with a saw, always make sure to wear safety glasses, earplugs, steel toes and a full arm and a full leg clothing before you start. In general, it's a good idea to have the raised beds not more than four feet wide as it will be really difficult to access the middle of the bed for maintenance if it's really wide. Most of our beds are either two feet wide or a three feet wide bed. Building the raised bed itself is pretty simple. Say you need a three by six bed. First, you would take two six feet long wooden pieces, in our case, which are six inches wide. So we had to use three small logs of wood which are one foot long so that we can stack the two six inch pieces on top of each other. We drill screws on both ends and also in the middle. While using screws, even if the instruction says do not pre-drill, always make sure to pre-drill before you use a screw. Otherwise you might end up with a lot of splits in your wood and it might also damage your tools. So repeat this process for the other side as well and at the end we should have two pieces which look like this. Next to attach the three feet sides, start from one end and use a corner uh, square piece to drill screws together to hold both the length and the width sides together and repeat this process basically for all the four corners. Once complete your bed should look something like this. We once noticed a hedgehog around our community and we read that they may bury under the raised beds and eat the crops. So just to make it hedgehog or rodent proof, we added a hardware mesh underneath. So we just laid the mesh on the top of the bed and nailed it every three or four inches all across the bottom of the bed. 
Once you have the wood and all the tools, it will take you somewhere between 2 to 4 hours to complete the construction of the entire bed. We have another video in which we talk about how we used all these raised beds to set up our garden. Please do check that out. Until we see you next time, happy gardening.